All right, so in the last video, I uh, was installing the uh, bathroom fan in there. So we've got that installed. And uh, there wasn't a bathroom fan in here before in either bathroom. So uh, yeah, I'll show you how I did it. And so that's it there. And so now that I've got, uh, you know, I wanted access in the attic to get those, uh, the vents up through there. That's that black pipe you see going up there. So now I've got, got that all done. Um, I'm going to close in this, uh, the gables now on this and getting ready for my roof. Um, and so, you know, by doing it this way, I, I uh, saved myself, you know, from tearing up the ceiling in the bathroom down below there. So it was just easy to get access from this end here. So uh, originally on the home, um, these gable ends weren't sheeted. What they did was they ran this uh, foam board out from underneath the uh, the tin. This has got a tin roof on it. And just folded it over. So all there was really is just this tin, or sorry, this foam board. And then there was the, the tin siding. This stuff went up over top of that. So... We're going to be putting vinyl siding on here now, and so we want to have, uh, you know, something to nail our siding to. So, what I've done is, uh, I'm peeling that foam board off, and so here you can see remnants of it down on the ground. And so I've, uh, you know, cleaned this side off, and uh, I have a piece of uh, 3 8 OSB now that I'm going to, that I've cut, that I'm going to fit in and, uh, you know, put on the, on that gable to close it in. And uh, yeah, so I'll get it up there and show you and then uh, get a little further along here, I'll bring you back. All right, so I got uh, that half in. Okay, I've got the foam board peeled off the other half there. And so now I'll just uh, do the same as this side. I'll just put a piece up in there now and uh, that end will be closed in. Look at that nice blue sky, folks. We haven't seen a nice blue sky like that for quite a while around here. It's been really rainy windy and yeah, we're finally into some of our hot summer weather here all right so now we got this end all done uh, that was the easy end so now we've got a good place there now to put our uh, vinyl siding on and uh, yeah we're ready to go now the overhang will come out over that and I can back frame onto that uh, OSB gable end for the overhang that I'm going to be adding onto there all right, so now I am going to be down at the other end and get that closed up. Just lock you down here. And so, yeah, this is going to get closed in now here. So I have to take that one truss out uh, that's a 16 inch overhang there we're going to cut it back to a 12 inch so we have a 12 inch all the way around and then I'm going to have to extend that uh, projection there up into the gable and then sheet the, the ends of that one all right so stay tuned folks uh, I'll bring you back when I get a little further along here okay so I've got this uh, and opened up a little bit more now I've got all that extra metal out of there and whatnot so uh, you can see how this is done now this is very common on uh, you know these these mobile homes how you know they put an overhead uh, overhang on the front of it just to make it uh, you know give it some pizzazz and uh, this is how they do it they just put um, you know they just take a, a regular truss you can see it's just a regular truss there and uh, they've got uh, you can see the the support coming out right kind of there there's a two by four that goes back in and uh, likewise over here you can see that one kind of right there that goes back in and uh, holds that truss up so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get rid of that because we're not gonna have this gable here we're gonna have it uh, the walls are gonna go straight up into the overhang so all I'm gonna do is take my trusty saws all here I don't know what I do without my trusty saws all and I'm just gonna start cutting that truss out of the end and get it out of there and then once I do that um, then I'll sheet the end of the uh, that the end of the gable there the same as I did on the other end and then I'll build up this box on top of that and then the uh, you know the new overhang will come out over top of that 
All right, so I'm a little further along here now. So I've got all that framing uh, tore out of there that was supporting this overhang here. And so now I'm going to, uh, you know, sheet this last truss here, which will become the new gable end. And uh, here's something interesting about mobile homes. Uh, what you're seeing right here, this is uh, the edge of uh, drywall. And what that is, is the ceiling inside the mobile home and so the way they make these things is the ceiling comes out over top of the walls and uh yeah so that's kind of a crazy thing about mobile homes is uh you know they they run the ceiling out so basically the way this works is they they frame the walls and the uh the trusses and the ceiling is all a prefabricated unit and then they uh, set the whole the whole structure the whole roof and ceiling structure down on top of the walls so anywhere you go um inside you're going to have your your drywall your ceiling is going to go out over top your walls whereas in a conventional home uh, your walls go up to the rafters and then the ceiling comes up to the walls but uh, here's one last look inside there this is what it looks like inside of uh Mobile home attic, you know, that uh, is this style with the pitched roof on it. I haven't figured out what the pitch is on this yet. Um, it's probably a, I, th I think most of these are usually a three and a half to 12, so, but I'll get it figured out here pretty quick. But uh, yeah, this is uh, just gonna carry on here now, get some uh, OSB in, get this closed up, and then frame out this little box here. All right, folks, so I've just about got this framed up here now. And uh, I'll just take you up here and show you what it looks like before I close it up. So this framing here, folks, you don't have to get very crazy with it. Um, none of this is structural. All of this framing does is just hold some vinyl siding. That's that's all there is to it. So, um, you know, I've... Uh, I just framed a little wall and sat it on top of the other wall that I had, you know, previously built here. And uh, I'm just getting ready now to cut my piece of OSB. So I've just framed it straight across the top. When I cut my OSB, I'll cut it so that it follows up into the angle of the gable there. And, you know, there'll be just that little piece there that's going to be kind of like floppy. But by the time we frame back down and back, you know, for our, our new overhang, there's just going to be very little bit of that that's going to be above the framing that's there so yeah it's very simple just wanted to show you this before i uh before i close it in uh, you can see i've got some wires going back in there from my new wall that i built there and so i just open those up now that's all going to be inside of this this box this chase whatever you want to call it and uh you, it'll be all concealed you won't see it All right, folks, so I've got that all sheeted in up there now, and, uh, you know, my little window is all done here. So uh, you can start to see now how my lines are going to come together. Uh, you know, we've got a sort of like a, two, a stepped overhang. So that old overhang is actually 14 inches, and I'm probably going to be going back with a 14-inch overhang. So uh, still have to decide that yet. But uh, yeah, this is how this has turned out. And uh, for those of you who have just landed here by uh, chance, you know, with some uh, magical YouTube blog rhythm and are wondering what the heck this is all about, um, I completely changed the end of this old mobile home. So this is a 1984, so it was a really old style. And I'll put a link to the uh, video where I took that old window. It was an old bay window, bow window, that was in there. And uh, really ugly, you know, gable up in there. You saw a little bit of that uh, before here. But, uh, yeah, updating it to this. And uh, so now, when I get to the roof, we're going to have some nice 8-inch uh, fascia boards there. We're going to have some nice soffit. Uh, and back in that first video, where I tore this all apart and rebuilt the, uh, the window part of it, I was debating on uh, on my uh, my lighting. So originally there was lighting, and you can see it here. There's an old outlet there, and uh, kind of right there. And everything was off centered here, offset. And so I was debating whether I was going to go with uh, 
uh, wall light or uh, recess light. So I've decided to go with the wall lights. And so I'm going to have one on either side. You can see the other one is roughed in over here. And uh, so the uh, lights that I like to use, they, they actually shine up and then they shine down. So it'll illuminate that soffit area and uh, they, they look quite nice. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, folks. I'm going to wrap it up, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.